and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. It's the day after Barcelona's brilliant victory away at Celta where we won for the first time since 2015 and we didn't just win, we did it in a really, really strong fashion, showing some good football, showing some determination and strong mentality, all of the things that we've been asking of this team. In today's video, we're going to be discussing what we've learned from that game with big praise so far. For Ronald Koeman, it's all coming up in today's video, so let's get to it. Because indeed, the reaction from us Barcelona fans, the players, and indeed the media right now has been very, very positive following the start of the season that we've had. Wins over Villarreal and now over Celta. MD there going with the headline, Storm. Whilst focusing on the good display, on the strong performance, as well as looking ahead to the hugely exciting clash between Messi and Ronaldo in the Champions League. Sport there, go with the headline, Magical. And what a day it was yesterday. You had Serginho Dest, you had that Champions League draw, and and of course, the really, really big points that we picked up and what we can gain from that kind of display. And I want to start right here once again by looking at the average positioning of each player during yesterday's game. And in particular, comparing that sort of shape to what we saw in the first game against Villarreal. And I think what we're seeing here is real consistency. Early on, under Ronald Koeman, we went into this game with an unchanged team. He didn't tinker. He stayed with what he knew. He stayed with what worked against Villarreal. And as you can see there, it's a very, very similar setup, very similar shape. And I think what we're seeing so far is clear ideas from Kuman. I think the players, as we're going to come on to, are buying into those ideas and they're understanding their roles in this team. And that's really, really important, not just going forward, but also defensively. If you're changing things around every other game, if you're tinkering, if you're messing around with the system, it's very, very difficult there for the defence to understand their area, to understand their positioning and what they need to do to keep clean sheets. Right now, we're on the same page, we're doing well, and quite clearly, the results are coming. And I think aside from the new system, aside from the results that we have got so far this season, one of the most pleasing parts of this team right now for me is actually the fact that I feel we are less dependent now upon Lionel Messi. At least we have been for these opening two games. Because there's no denying that Messi is always going to be a huge part of this team. Whenever he's going to play, he's always going to be the vocal point. He's always going to be the best player. But what I would say so far against Villarreal, and now of course into the game, against Celta, we haven't put everything through Messi. And that's a good thing, not only for the team, but also for Messi too. He doesn't feel the burden right now of having to create everything, of having to score every goal. You've got the help there of Ansu Fati. Three goals so far in two La Liga games. He looks brilliant in front of goal. He's making some fantastic runs. He's taking on that responsibility as a 17-year-old forward. And then you've got Coutinho. He's helping Messi out there. He's just sharing that creative burden and that's a real help right now to Messi. Messi and Coutinho have combined well. I think Coutinho's got a really good connection as well early on with Ansu Fati and of course you've got Griezmann who's yet to hit his full stride so there could be more help yet to come and I think for Messi it's a real positive. For the team it shows nice balance and going away from that Messi dependency it will help us. And in terms of sharing that responsibility and in terms of the different threats that we have in the final third, because like I say, I feel as though there's so much quality right now in the attacking areas of Barcelona, and that's without even looking to the quality that we have on the bench. But there was a moment in yesterday's game that really stood out to me, and it's all about here a lightning quick transition. And that's something at Barcelona that we haven't seen hardly at all over the past few years. In transition, moving the ball quickly, having good runs off the ball, and having crisp passing in the process and being brave in your play. And it starts at the back here with Clement Longley. He passes the ball forward there. A really brave pass out of defence into a dangerous area, but it finds its target there in Lionel Messi. Longley did a very, very similar pass against Villarreal to play Coutinho into a lot of space. Messi receives the ball here. He turns. He's got Coutinho very, very close to him. Again, that combination between the two players coming into effect. Coutinho then could accept the ball. He's aware of what's around him. He's 
really, really playing well with good confidence right now. He plays out to the left-hand side where Frankie de Jong is. And this is what I mean about the fluidity, about the versatility in this team. Every player is capable there of taking up an attacking position, of moving into space, and actually they're accelerating into the open field. And look at the options ahead of de Jong that he has. He's got Ansu Fati there bursting down the middle. He's got Griezmann out on the right-hand side. And it's a wonderful outside-the-foot pass there from Frankie de Jong. We had a brilliant game yesterday into the path of Griezmann. And if that first touch is better, it's a wonderful goal. And it's a magical, magical team move. We have gone there from back to front, from one box to the other box in 10 seconds. And I think in big games, when opposition maybe are getting on top of us, when teams are actually trying to attack us as a unit, to have that kind of outlet there, to go and attack them, to be that quick in transition, it's a huge, huge weapon to have in your armory. And we need to see that plenty more. And in terms of the coach Ronald Koeman, he did speak of course after yesterday's game. He was obviously very very happy with what he saw from the team and we were very very happy with what we were seeing from him. He said I cannot comment on what happened last year from this team. He said but from day one I've seen these players very hungry. He said they've trained with great intensity. They play exactly as they train. Today they've shown up until the very last second on a difficult field that we are very very well physically. And he also went on to say like any coach, I need time, but the team is much better than you might think. He said, we've got six points, we've scored seven goals, and we haven't conceded any. This shows that we are growing, and quite clearly there, Kuman is confident in his players, he sees the hunger, he sees the determination. We see that as well, and we've been very impressed and very proud with what we've seen so far. And I think just to illustrate exactly how much the players right now are buying into what Ronald Koeman wants from this team, you look again to Lionel Messi. He's the leader out on the field, whether it's with, whether it's without the armband. He's the player out there that the players will always look to for leadership and responsibility. And I think when you see a player like Messi at the stage of his career that he's at, when you see him at 2-0 up in the pouring rain on a difficult pitch in the final 15 minutes, when he's sprinting around, when he's closing down opposition defenders, when he's chasing back and trying to win the ball, then you know that you're working hard. Then you know that these players do believe in what Kuman wants. They do believe in what he's trying to bring. And quite clearly, we are seeing, so far at least, a hungry group, a hungry team. And if you look at Sergio Roberto's goal, in the final moment of the game, the final minutes of the match, just look at the players in that box. Just look at the amount of bodies that we've committed there to go and get into Celta Vigo's box. We're 2-0 up. We're down to 10 men. We've got no reason to be there. We've got no need to be there. But every single player there, five of them, they're all busting a gut to get into the area. And that's the kind of energy, that's the kind of determination that we want to see in every player wearing the Barca shirts. And I've got to say, I'm so, so impressed and really optimistic about what we've seen so far. But, of course, as always, guys, it's a disclaimer. I've said it so far against Villarreal, and now once again against Celta. We are all very, very happy. Barcelona right now, under Koeman, are exceeding expectations. That's the way that we want it to be. But, of course, still, there's tests to come. It's a long, long season. We've got a big game now on Sunday. We do have to keep our feet on the ground. But, of course, it's natural to be excited because these players have clearly given us something to be excited about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you make of the performance? What did you learn from that game? And what can we expect going forward? Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate you tuning in for all of the uploads that have been happening over the past few days. I'll see you tomorrow as the build-up begins ahead of Sevilla. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Uh -huh.